strong and in some places gale force winds have been battering the coast, interrupting catamaran lines as well as some ferry connections. Pedestrians are warned to take care on wave-washed piers and seafronts. Two teenagers died in a tragic traffic accident last night close to Dubrovnik, in which a car packed with six young people hit a tree and overturned. Speeding and a wet road surface have been named as the causes of the accident. Drivers in the area are cautioned to drive carefully, as winds are expected to gather force towards the end of the day. The construction of the final seven kilometers of pipeline that will connect the coastal town of Shibenik with the country's natural gas network is under completion, and first consumers will be able to begin using gas this spring. Apart from households, industrial and tourism complexes are also expected to benefit from the new natural gas supply. The fourth and final phase of work to renew hotels belonging to the Yadranka group on the island of Loshin is underway. The investment will upgrade them into four- and five-star facilities. Accommodation on the Chikat Bay will be enriched with a modern spa clinic opened all year round. On today's national holiday, Catholics celebrate the Feast of St. Stephen. In the village of Staro Stefanie, close to the town of Bielovar, families celebrate their name day. Half of the families here carry the surname Stefovic. The village's name goes back to 1242, when Franciscans erected a church dedicated to St. Stephen, the first Christian martyr. In sports, at the annual nomination of this year's best Croatian athletes, organized by the Sportske Novosti web portal, footballer Mario Mandzukic has been named best sportsman of 2013. Discus thrower Sandra Perkovic received the award for the best sportswoman. And in ice hockey, Zagreb's Medvezchak are returning to play after a two-week break. Tomorrow they face Moscow's Dinamo, two-time winner of the Gagarin Cup, in Zagreb's arena. The game marks the beginning of the five-match ice fever event, with two games scheduled in December and three in January. The weather this afternoon, mainly cloudy with intermittent rain in many areas. Heavy rain is expected on the coast, with thunderstorms possible. Winds on the Adriatic, a strong to stormy southerly Yugo, reaching gale force in places. Top temperatures, 8 to 13 degrees Celsius in the interior, 14 to 17 on the coast.